Hey guys, I hope you are. So I just wanted to film a really quick video because I have a mini Mac haul. I don't think I've been to a Mac counter for months, maybe six months or so. Um, but the new collection came out yesterday, their Christmas collection, which is called Glitter and Ice. And um, I hadn't really seen much about it, I haven't seen the promo images because I just haven't been interested in MAC recently. Um, they've been coming out with so many collections, it's off-putting, um, a lot of the things are regurgitated and re-promotes and there just hasn't been anything that's grabbed my attention. Um, but I went to have my eyebrows done yesterday, if you can see, I had another treatment of HD, which I will write about soon and possibly do a video about, um, and the salon was next door to my mat counter. So I went in just to have a little look and I walked away with three products. Um, I'm really happy with all of them, I've used them today and um, first impressions are really good. Um, if you don't like shimmer or glitter, this probably isn't a great collection for you because it's very ice princessy. There's very um, every product has a slight amount of shimmer to it, or some have glitter in it. Um, but I really like this collection. I think it's beautiful. I really love the um, packaging, and it's not too large. It's um, quite a small collection for Mac. I think there's about six eyeliners. Um, four lipsticks, four lip glasses, four um, eyeshadows, and then you've got all the gift packs uh, for Christmas. But anyway, I'll get on to what I bought. I bought three products, and they came in this packaging, which I really like. It's just a kind of um, mirror-like silver um, box packaging. I think that's really nice. And um, I got two paint pots and one lipstick. Um, I really, really love paint pots in general. I think matte paint pots are great. I think they're very, very creamy. They're really easy to use. Um, I really like using them as a base and I like applying them just on their own across the lid as well for a nice uh, wash of colour than maybe with a dramatic eyeliner or something. And they don't budge. They stay put for a really long time. I swatched these paint pots on my hand yesterday. I wash my hands all the time. I'm quite um, a bit of a clean freak and I like to wash my hands. I scrubbed at them and I still had these swatches of them on this morning. So they're really, really long lasting, which is fabulous. Um, and these are the two that I got and the packaging is um, the usual glass kind of um, pot type thing, but the lids are white instead of black. I really, really like this. I think they look really, really clean and nice. Um, they're very, very simple, and it reminds me a little bit of Apple as well. Um, you know, Apple products, they're all kind of white and sleek. Um, so I really like this. They kind of do it a lot better than Clinique. Clinique is white, but these look a lot nicer, I think. So I got two. The colours I got were Let's Skate and uh, Morning Frost. So I'll show you them. Let's Skate is a really, really pale um, baby pink, and it's just a beautiful kind of um, base colour or all over wash colour and I really really like this it's um, almost white but it has a tiny yeah a tiny tinge of pink to it and this does have quite a lot of glitter in it so if you don't like glittery products this probably isn't the best for you um, I find that when I apply it you get kind of hot pink and slightly soft gold glitter particles that um, go across your eye and I like that look um, personally but if you don't like glittery products on your eyes you're not going to like this because it's not shimmery it's just kind of glittery and I'll swatch that here it's really really nice but when you put your finger in it you can definitely feel that there's chunks of glitter in it you can feel it's a little bit scratchy on your finger but it's this gorgeous kind of off white pink colour here and I really really like this. I'm wearing this today all over my lids with um, a really strong black steel liner um, and I really like the difference of this kind of almost white and then with a the strong black liner. I think it's really really nice. So I'm loving that and it's unique. I've, I don't have a product like this in my collection so I love that. The second product I got or the second paint pot I got is one called Morning Frost which I really, really love. This is colour is right up my street. It's the colour I would reach for every single day without fail and just wear this on its own. And it's this mid-tone, kind of torpy brown colour. Um, this is really, really nice. It's not um, too pigmented. I mean, it is pigmented, but it doesn't look too dramatic on your eyes, so it's definitely light enough to be able to wear as a wash colour all over the lid, and it would be a great uh, base as well. This doesn't have chunky glitter like um, Let's Skate. It's kind of more of a metallic and a shimmery finish, which is beautiful. It really, really reminds me of um, Benefit's Creaseless Cream Shadow in um, Birthday Suit, which I also have, and I usually wear that um, most days on its own, so 
it's that one there. I think that's a beautiful colour. And that's uh, Morning Frost. And then the last product I got um, is a lipstick. I really probably didn't need any more lipsticks, but I um, couldn't resist the packaging of this. I love that it's just a sleek, white, simple packaging. It's got a patent tint finish, so it's um, shiny, and I love the combination with the white and the silver. I think it's beautiful and um, very Christmassy, almost like snow. And I got the colour Double Spin, which is a cream sheen formula, which are really, really creamy, nice and easy to apply, um, nourishing, they don't dry at all, um, yeah, and they feel really nice on the lips. And they're probably the best formulation MAC does. And um, I got the colour Double Spin, which is, of course, the nude shade. They came out with some really gorgeous reds and some fuchsia colours, which I really, really like. But I was in kind of a hurry, and um, my eye is always drawn to the nude lipstick. So I purchased this one. And it's kind of a mid-tone nude. It's not like a nude I've ever seen before, and I think it's really, really nice. It's a little bit warmer than the usual nudes that I would... Um, yeah, originally go for, I usually go for pinky nudes or peachy nudes, but this is more of a kind of beigey top, kind of um, mauve nude, and I think this is really, really ni nice, it's very unique colour, it really reminds me of one of my favourite lip glasses um, by MAC, which is called Glamour for All, which is a very pale, um, mauve pink, and um, yeah, I really like this one, I'm wearing it today. And um, as you can see, it's very nude. I do like that nude look, especially with kind of a smoky eye. Um, but if you don't, you probably won't like this because it is fairly nude. But I like the fact that it has that mauve hint to it. It warms up the lips. Um, it doesn't look as cold as other nudes. And I think it's a really unique colour. And I'll swatch it here. On camera, it doesn't look as nice as it is in person. So I definitely recommend checking this out at your counter if you're unsure because the camera isn't really true to how pretty this is. Um, but the colour is there. As you can see, it's a very, it's got a hint of kind of a purple mauve tinge to it, but it's really, really nice, and I absolutely love that. That's probably, this and Morning Frost, I think, are my favourite products from this collection. But yeah, it's a really nice collection to check out if you don't like glitter, or if you don't like shimmer, then it's probably not one for you. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and um, I hope this helped if you're looking to go and purchase anything from the Glitter and Ice collection. Thanks guys, bye.